All right, welcome back, guys. Today, we see how the Black Bandit Pixel 6K. You've watched my previous video. Um, I put together my build, all powered by small rig, small rig, top cheese plates, small rig, NATO rail handle, uh, small rig monitor holder. Most of the things here, like 90% of the things here, are supported by small rig, small rig, V mount battery plate. Been working excellently on this side. Forget about the cables hanging around. Um, small rig, right hand, rosette handle. Um, what else is small rig here? So base plate is from small rig, and then the 15 millimeter rods are from small rig. So majorly, most of the things on this camera is small rig. But the only things that are not small rig are like the, the side plate is from mid 49, very nice plate. I'm able to mount an SSD um, holder which is just right there. Um, the weird thing is that I'm wearing a red camera cap, so I don't know what you think about that. Um, the reason I'm making this video is just how do you connect um, an SDI cable um, to the monitor, to the camera without frying the SDI port. Now, I wrote to Blackmagic, not that I wrote to Blackmagic, yeah, I wrote, I met the one of the guys at Black Magic asked him, how can I safely connect the SDI cable? There are tons of video on the internet, but for me, who is being, who is just fairly new to SDI cables? Yeah, I knew about SDI connection and cables, um, but I also knew there was a process, especially with Black Magic cameras. On my Pocket 6K Pro and Pocket 4K, I mostly used HDMI cables, and I also always powered the monitors, um, with batteries but this camera already is heavy it's weighty and i like to shoot handheld i don't like gimbals and the monitor takes a lot of battery and powering via v mount would obviously be the best option i'll just put a screenshot of the response but after i did my black magic pixel 6k build i'll put the video up here i'll also put a link in the description my friend from pgn um I'll put his channel also in the description you guys can check out Ken. Ken from PGN was like, no, that is that is wrong. That is very, very wrong. And I'm doing this video just to show you guys what's the... He sent me a link, he sent me a video. I looked it up and just to simplify things, just in case you are new to SDI as well, this is how you should connect an SDI cable to your camera and monitor. Um, whatever camera you're using, whatever device you're using. If you have an SDI accessory, like um, I have here, this is a five inch Blackmagic Video Assist, 12G HDR monitor. Whether it's a transmitter, whatever, that is using an SDI cable, I need to connect it to your camera, whether it's a Canon, um, Ari, Red, Blackmagic, um, Red Komodo, whatever. Even in the Z cam, if it has an SDI output, this is the proper and the simplified way to connect your accessory, SD accessory. First of all, power on your SD accessory. So plug in the power cable, make sure it's powered on and power on your camera. So the SDI accessory and the camera are grounded. The next thing is connect the SDI cable. That's the last thing when power on. Now when powering off, the first thing to do is disconnect the SDI accessory and then power off. Simple, right? So we'll do that and I'll show you. All right, so I have my D-Tap to DC cable plugged into my SDI accessory, which is the video assist from Blackmagic. I'll power on the V-mount plate. You should see a blue light come on. So it's powered on and I can now power on my SDI accessory, which is the video assist. So that's on, you should be able to see from my top-down camera. The next thing is to, I can power on my camera. So camera is now powered on, and then I can now plug in my SDI cable from into the camera and also to the monitor. But what I would like to do is power off my camera and then plug in my SDI to the camera, can plug this in, plug it and locked. Then I plug the other end 
where's the accessory so plug it in and lock it so I've now powered on my camera I've taken on the lens cap and you can see what I have in front of me which is this nice air blower from Nightcore so this for Nightcore image they create very nice product so I just put that there yeah, so oh, that's in focus, bring that in focus. So I'm recording and I can see the blower in front of me and I can also record on my video assist. It's working fine, working very nice. I stop recording on the video assist and I also stop on the camera. So that's how you connect your SDI accessory to your Blackmagic camera or any other camera that uses SDI. Now to power off, remember you have to disconnect the SDI cables first before powering down. So remember, your accessory must have power when connecting and must have power when unplugging. So make sure there's power when plugging and disconnecting. So we'll do that. So we've plugged everything up now to disconnect or to power down. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect my SD accessory and disconnect from the camera and then I can power down my SD accessory or the black Magic video assist monitor and power down the camera I'll repeat and now da -da -da, shooting recording filming whatever I'm done and now I want to power everything down first of all disconnect disconnect power down power down so these steps must be taken when connecting and unplugging your SDI cables to your accessories from your Blackmagic Pixis camera or any other camera that uses SDI a transmitter a monitor whatever so I'll see you guys in the next one remember don't forget to like and subscribe it's your filmmaker peace